Nina, this is Ellie and this is Finlay and we are all from Scotland which is part of the UK and we are here representing children in Scotland. Uh, so to start with I want you to close your eyes wow. Good. and imagine a country where the voting age is 16, <laughs> there is a youth parliament where a group of children sit on the board talking about issues that matter to them and rights are incorporated into school lessons through our rights respecting schools program. Well open your eyes because this is Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> We are well on our way to a complete full child participation in the country. Well, maybe something similar, but um, put your hands up if you've ever been, well, if you've known, known, if you know Scotland. Keep your hands up if you think you know what it is. So a little bit less than. <laughs> hands up if you've ever been to Scotland. Now, some of you have been, you might know that you get four seasons in one day, and it is usually quite cold and wet. Um, some of the latest and facts about it. So, Scotland is only 77,930 square miles. Now, if you compare that to your own country, it's back maybe quite small, especially to Romania here. Um, so, Edinburgh is where we are based, in the southeast of Scotland, and uh, Glasgow is 45 minutes west, which is the biggest populated city in Scotland, with a population reaching a total of 5.5 million in the whole of Scotland, which is four times less than what is here in Romania. We speak mainly English, but then we have our major dialect, which is Scots, which is what you hear us to speak. Um, we have Gaelic, which is a rural language, and it is an old language, like Latin is, but Gaelic still lives in some of our schools today. Doric is what I speak from where I am. I live up north in Aberdeen, so that is the Highlands dialect. Okay, so while I've been talking to quite a lot of you at the workshops we've been doing, I've um, heard quite a lot of these different countries that are here with us today have their own form of youth parliament or youth council and Scotland really isn't that different. We have our own uh, Scottish young um, parliament where people are elected and they meet a couple times every year and discuss issues. Um, we also have a children's parliament which is very similar but it is for people under the age of 12 and they are able to express their ideas in a creative way and do like express stories and opinions and issues that they face. We are very privileged in Scotland to be able to access our decision makers very easily. Uh, you can easily arrange a meeting with the first minister or, and it can vary between the highest in power from the First Minister herself to slightly more minor positions such as head teachers. But it's much easier to express your opinions and ideas to these people in power. We believe that all organisations should listen to children's opinions, whether this be in schools, charities or the wider community. I, I myself has, have experienced this through recruiting new teachers in my school. I think this is important because the, the principal teacher isn't getting taught by these people, it's us. So we should have a say in whether their teaching style is correct for our needs. Children in Scotland aims to promote children's rights and practice what they preach by having an advisory group, which is us changing our world. Um, this weekend, uh, Scotland received some very exciting news from the First Minister um, stating that the UNCRC is going to be introduced into Scottish law, making it mandatory for children's rights to be met. Wow. Children. 
Um, so what a call is, a call is a command to make the lives of children better in Scotland. Uh, we've had calls from forums and groups that we have worked with in the past and hope to work with in the future. Ourselves, uh, Change Our World, have call, call number three, which is on the video once we get on summarising it. <laughs> um, all children should get mental health support where they need it, when they need it, without being judged or discriminated. We believe that it is about uh, that home participation is important wherever you be. We believe that it's inclusive, engaging, and vital. Wow. Um, <laughs>